Out of a handful of standard components, we are going to build a decorative rechargeable LED bottle light with a clever twist. Let's jump right in. You will need a little end stop micro switch, a TP4056 charge and output controller board, a small and longish 1S LiPo cell, some LED wire with a color and form of your choosing, a LED series resistor and to top it off a nice looking empty bottle. The overall circuit diagram is relatively simple and self-explanatory. Most of these cheap LED string lights have LEDs mounted in parallel. It is better practice to give each LED its own series resistor, but we will have to choose one single resistor for the whole setup and thus determine how bright and long all of them will shine. In some cases, a single resistor can lead to critically high currents through one LED and cause it to fail. Link in the description for more information. Now the first thing you will need to decide on is how many LEDs you want to have inside of your bottle. In my case I disassembled the LED driver, measured the current through the original string LED setup and then decided to go with 25 LEDs. Now let's calculate the resistor size. Kirchhoff's voltage law states that for a closed loop series path the sum of all voltages around is equal to zero. Applying this law gives an equation for battery voltage. The LED voltage depends on the LED's color and can be found in datasheets or on the internet. I went with 3.3 volts for a white LED. The second equation shows that the current through one LED in the diagram actually consists of the current through a number of n LEDs. Following Ohm's law and utilizing our previous equations, we can determine the resistance R. The last equation shows how to calculate battery runtime. Using the equations shown before, I calculated the current flowing using a 50 ohm resistor. Dividing the battery capacitance through the overall current equals the time the LEDs will stay lit. Now let's get on with the assembly. Get your TP4056 and LiPo battery. Put some hot glue on the board's backside and glue the LiPo cell onto it with the contacts facing the opposite way of the micro USB port. Get your micro switch and glue it to the board's top side right onto the micro USB port. This will later turn on the lights with a turn of the bottle cap. After identifying plus and minus, turn on your soldering iron and connect LiPo plus to battery plus on the TP4056. Do the same for the negative poles. If you glue the LiPo to the board the right way around the first time, it would even look prettier than my contraption. Insulate the contacts with hot glue tape or heat shrink. Solder your chosen resistor between out positive and one of the micro switches on pins. Scrape the insulation of the LED strings leads and solder the positive wire to the micro switches remaining pin. Connect the remaining LED string wire to the TP4056 out minus pad. Now test your circuit by pushing down the micro switches lever. The TP4056 takes care of charging the LiPo cell as well as safeguarding its voltage to prevent deep discharge. Put some hot glue onto all contacts to secure them some more. Get your empty bottle ready and push all lights into it. Then carefully push the whole circuit board assembly into the bottle's neck. Push it in until it's flush with the bottle's top side. If it's too tight, sand off the board's sides. If it's too wide, try applying some hot glue or tape to make it fit. Now screw on the bottle cap and your homemade rechargeable bottle light will turn on. Now follow me on my brand new Instagram account to get more updates between projects and take a look at my Patreon to help me get this channel going again. I really appreciated your comments over the last weeks and I would love to hear what you think about this project. Thanks for watching and keep doing it yourself.